Well, we were uh, both told recently uh, by both the uh, U.S. and Russian flight control centers that uh, Roscosmos announced that the Progress will not be docking uh, and will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere here some uh, some days in the future to be determined. But the Progress is not coming to this. Progress is not coming to the space station. Well, we have a, a lot of redundancy on board the space station. We, we, uh, you know, the the program plans for these kind of things to happen. They're very unfortunate when they do, but we do have, um, you know, we do have supplies on board. And um, you know, one of the great things about the this international partnership is that we do have other vehicles that can resupply the space station. You know, when we had the Columbia accident, we were fortunate to have the Soyuz to be able to keep the uh, space station manned and. And we have other vehicles uh, now, uh, SpaceX, HTV, and uh, hopefully Orbital soon that can continue to resupply us. So uh, we should be okay. Uh, Long-term impact, uh, you know, the, the both uh, programs are looking at that right now. Um, but uh, I think we're going to be in good shape. Well, I'm not familiar with everything that was on the vehicle. I know uh, the stuff that was on the, the manifested for the U.S. operational segment, which was a lot of uh, clothing for uh, Chell uh, Lindgren and uh, Kimi Yui, uh, also some EVA hardware. Um, but, you know, the important thing is hardware can be replaced, and uh, we'll replace all that hardware, and uh, we'll continue to, to operate the space station.